Okay. This is my modded life gun, which shall now just be known as the Light Rifle. Today, we're going to play Duck Hunt with it. See what happens. I didn't build this intro up too much. Audio wire is loose again. Let me go fix that. Throughout this video, I'll be bouncing back and forth between two different types of views. It's just kind of my quality assurance of saying, I played this all the way through. Want to apologize for the sound quality in advance. Luckily, if you miss the diamond, the level will just loop until you pick it up again. to mention, I don't claim to be an expert at this game. Sometimes when you shoot the bird, they'll give you a potion. You get one potion, you get one extra hit. If you're able to get five potions, then you get five extra hits. And that's level one. If 
you're able to do it right, the cloud can protect you from the rock. Seems like I always get hit at least once in this level. This part's kinda hard to read, so I rewrote it. There we go, got past level two. Yes! For some reason my aiming was really off. Plus it doesn't help that these sharks take two hits. Seems to be getting better now, though. Getting the timing of those in enemies can be really difficult. Though it seems like there's more to the level, that's it. I think it might be a glitch. This level is where it gets the most intense. If those bombs are not shot right away, when they explode, they're really hard to dodge. Thank <laughs> you. 
it's important to try to stay away from that water, I think it is. Otherwise, an alligator will come and eat you. And he takes about 10 hits, so that's the dodge. This message, as well as the ending, is probably my favorite in the entire game. Kinda wish you could walk like this all the time. There's just something I like about this sprite. Time for the final boss. Only the in-game gun, the one that Stevenson is firing right now, will do any damage to this boss. You have to be able to time the bullet so it hits the creature directly in its one eye, as well as watch out for the projectiles it's throwing at you. Because I have only one hit, it's very difficult. Seems like the first attempt always goes the furthest for some reason. Almost had it. This again. Okay. I should probably mention that you can also pause this game. Try that again. At least I was able to demonstrate what the bomb does. With this being the sixth attempt of trying to beat this game in one day, I figured I would try it again another day. Right here is the recording. I did it straight up on a VCR, so there's not going to be any other camera angle. Well, here it is. I want to mention, I wasn't able to beat this boss in the first try. However, I will put in an annotation to just skip to the attempt in which I did beat this boss.
After beating the game once, you unlock hard mode. Here the bottles are twice as fast, other obstacles are thrown, and the map is a different layout. There are also these bullets. If you shoot them, it's the same effect as if the bomb were to explode. As such, you have to just dodge them. Well, that's Gumshoe. A very interesting game. One I highly recommend for a good challenge, as well as just a break from the mundane duck hunt. This has been John Burnesser playing Gumshoe. Until next time, keep having fun.